What's up ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I'm going to be cleaning out my trumpet and basically like that's super easy to do so I'm going to give you a little tutorial. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out all the tuning slides, like all the valve slides I mean, and of course the tuning slide. You can get it done in a snap and then, well you can also do this at the same time but take out the valves and the little casings down here. Actually, I don't know what the things on the bottom are called, but you get the point. Stuff like this in here, you're going to want to clean that out. I suggest using like tissue. You're going to be in, be in the bathroom at the time, so probably could use toilet paper, but we are in a shortage right now, so I won't use that. I'll use regular tissues. You don't have to get everything out, but try to make them like look somewhat cleaner. I should probably take the mouthpiece out. All right. Another thing you're gonna want to do: make sure you have a bathtub full of lukewarm water. Make sure it's not hot, because then it could damage the instrument. Make sure it's not cold, because then it won't be able to get all the dirt out of it. And you really want to clean it properly. I already had that set up, so if you have a screw for your third valve slide, I suggest putting it in something else other than the bathtub. Maybe like a little cup full of warm soapy water. And then you're going to want to put everything else in the, into the bathtub. Actual instrument itself, mouthpiece. I have two mouthpieces, both of them are 5C, I believe Bach 5C, but I'll get the tuning slide, valves, third valve tuning slide, second valve tuning slide, I think the pin is about to get in and out of the instrument, first valve slide, blue juice, and wait about an hour for everything to soak. Now, after I cut the camera there, I realized that I forgot to put like the little things in the water. So I went back and put that in. And I also forgot to mention that when you're doing that, like when you're doing the whole soaking process, after you get everything in there, wait about an hour before you get that, like before you take anything out. Now that it's been an hour, you're gonna wanna drain the bathtub. And because this was in a separate thing, I was able to take this out while the bathtub was being drained. Luckily I have one of these shower heads, so I can easily wash everything off putting on the shower head so I can get this. And basically what you're going to want to do again with warm water it's not warm enough give it a second it'll warm up it's a little too hot still too hot Still a little too hot. And it should be good. What you're gonna want to do? You're just gonna want to run the water on the different pieces of the instrument, like all the slides, the valves, the instrument itself, the mouthpieces. Another thing I should point out, while you're doing all that, prepare to see some of the grossest stuff you'll ever see in your life. And now that you have that all out of the way, I suggest like getting a dry towel and then just using that to dry off the instrument. Between my two mouthpieces, you can obviously see which one I use more. Another thing is, once you, uh, 
like start the drying process, I suggest wearing gloves. I got like white gloves on that came with the instrument and I use those for uh, cleaning it. If you're in marching band, I believe you could just use your gloves from there if you have them on you. Optional. You can leave everything out to air dry. If you're going to do that, I suggest doing it in the order in which you're going to put everything back in the instrument. For my order, tuning slide, first valve slide, second valve slide, third valve slide, first, second, third valve, all three of these, third valve slide screw, mouthpiece. Tuning slide, first valve slide, second valve slide, third valve slide, first valve, second valve, third valve, all three of these, the screw, and the mouthpiece. And now it should be clean.